I'm almost ready to try to start Wago. The only thing I need right now to turn it over is spark plug wires because these ones for the stock A6 are too short with the valve cover on. They don't they don't reach all the way. So I'm gonna go over to like O'Reilly's right now and get some spark plug wires. But uh, there wasn't a video last night mainly because I didn't get a whole lot done. Uh, I was messing with the distributor for a bit because I did find one in our box of parts in the shed and I took my old coil out of the distributor I had that did work and I put the coil in this one and then I didn't have, this is an OBD1 distributor so I didn't have a, a conversion harness to plug it into my OBD0 stock harness and I just pulled all the pins out of the plug for the distributor and then I just kind of shoved all the pins into the stock harness and I just kind of color matched the wires so that should be good. Uh, but yeah, I mainly just need to get the spark plug wires and then I can throw the valve cover on. I'm actually going to throw this valve cover on over here just because this one's pretty, can't see it on camera, but the paint's pretty, oh yeah, you can. The paint's like shitty and I want to clean this one off later and repaint that one. But for now, I'm just going to throw this other one that doesn't say VTEC on it. But first, I have to get new spark plug wires anyway, so I'm going to go do that right now and then come back and see if she's going to start. Got my new spark plug wires, and as you can see, these ones are a good, like half inch longer than the old ones, so hopefully these should reach just fine. And what I'm gonna do right now is clean off some of this old gasket maker on the back and put my valve cover on. All right, so I got the valve cover on, I got the spark plug wires in, and I did already try to start it, but it didn't quite start on its own. It just kind of popped and fired over, but it wouldn't stay running. So what I ended up doing was going to O'Reilly's real quick, went back to O'Reilly's, got some starter fluid, and I sprayed that into the intake, and when I did that, it ran fine, and then it died right after because it burned up all the starter fluid inside. So what that tells me is that there was no fuel, so I went back and was double checking everything, and it turns out that three of these pins, when I replugged the injectors in, got pushed out. So it was all the negative too, so I went to plug the plug back in and actually push this wire out and the pin didn't go down into the harness so there was it wasn't making a connection and I got that fixed and I did actually just start it and I ran it for a couple seconds then I shut it off and so I'm just gonna start it up again for you guys and show you it, it runs a little rough I'm not sure if the timing's perfect but it does run As you can see, it does run. It runs a little rough, but it runs. So what I think I'm gonna do for right now is play with the timing, because I don't think it runs like that because of the tune. I think it might be because my timing's a little off. When I set the timing, uh, there's this little arrow right here, and I guess on the Z6 heads, instead of setting the two marks on the cam gear flush with the bottom of the head, it's like slightly slanted. And I set it like that, and I'm not sure if that could be why it's not running right. I think I set the timing right, but I know on Charlie's we set it flat and his runs fine like that. So I think I'm gonna try it just to see if it helps and if it doesn't do anything then I'll go back because it's really, it's really easy to change the timing real quick. But uh, I'm just gonna do that real quick and then see if that changes anything. And also that noise while it was running was just the exhaust underneath like smacking against each other because it's still loose so that wasn't a knock or anything. I just adjusted the timing a little bit. Let's see if it runs any better. Let's try this again. Still runs pretty rough, but it runs. Well, now that I know it runs, let's see if this clutch works. I'm gonna try to back it out of the garage. It feels good, but I'm just not sure if Grinding those fins did the trick, but I guess we'll find out real quick. Oh. Okay, that was a little sketch. Uh, I forgot about the brake booster. 
I did not mention that. That is not hooked up, so I had no brakes pretty much right there. And uh, I think the clutch just needs to be adjusted a little bit because I pushed it in and I, I was able to get it into gear, but it was still like barely engaged. So even with it all the way down, it was still trying to go in reverse. So it works though. So I just need to adjust it a little bit. Well, Lago does run. It's going to need a couple little things done to it. Uh, definitely needs a tune. Still probably need to play with the timing or something. But I will get that all figured out soon enough. But for now, I am probably just going to call it good for today. This is probably a super short video, but we plan on having some New Year's festivities going on tonight. And I'm going to try to clean up this garage because there's a lot of shit everywhere. So I'm going to get to that. But I will be getting everything on Wago buttoned up in the next couple days. So sorry for a super short video, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated.